again, TV and movies are rampant with Asian stereotypes, especially the idea that Asian people are some kind of model minority. Smart, successful, polite, obedient, and of course, inherently good at math. Gee, what's the big deal? Those are all compliments. Well, these compliments actually originated in a government propaganda campaign, and not too long ago, white Americans actually thought the exact opposite. Time in. In the mid-1800s, Americans were so hostile to Chinese people, the country passed laws banning Chinese immigration and denying their freedoms. They were stereotyped as a lazy, opium-addicted, menacing whore dubbed the Yellow Peril. And your old Uncle Sammy didn't stop there. Uncle Sammy! Yeah, Uncle Sammy hasn't been such a cool uncle. Because of anti-Asian racism during World War II, the United States interned Japanese Americans in concentration camps. Hey, it's our Japanese friend Kenji from up the street. Oh, that's not your friend. That's a spy who wants to kill Americans. <laughs> uncle Sammy, why didn't you do that to German Americans in World War II? Yeah, I wonder. Because, because they're, they're white. white. But all that changed when the U.S. needed to suck up to its Asian allies during the Cold War. See, as the Soviet Union rose to power, the U.S. worried that Soviet propaganda was making communism sound dynamite. America is so racist, am I right? It's like, hey, USA, cut it out. Woof. Guess I better have mercy on these Asians. So America embarked on a propaganda campaign to tout Asian American success stories. The State Department highlighted Asian American artists, politicians, and even sent an all Chinese American basketball team on tour overseas. Forget all that nastiness earlier. America loves our Asian sports heroes. And in 1965, Congress approved a landmark immigration law that ditched racist restrictions, but it gave preference to immigrants who had training, talent, or skill sets that would benefit the U.S. economy. Sammy and the Rippers are changing their tune. Borders now open for smart, successful Asian immigrants. Wow, now that I've let all these educated, successful Asians into America, I've got to say, Asian Americans sure are successful and educated. So America went from a country that despised Asians to one that held them up as a shining example of assimilation. And this self-fulfilling prophecy resulted in the model minority myth. And the most sinister part of this myth is it was used to put other minorities down and it's still holding people back today. Oh, it's our very special guest star, professor of history at Indiana University, Ellen Wu. Why did I need to use the ladder, Adam? Aren't we on the ground floor? It's a sitcom thing. In the 1960s, government officials looked at socioeconomic data from African-American communities and contrasted it to the so-called family values and stability of Asian Americans. Now, this fueled racist claims that black people had no one to blame but themselves if they experienced poverty and other social disadvantages. Conservatives went on to use these claims to justify making cuts to many essential social programs for African Americans and other disadvantaged minority groups. They were even used to argue against civil rights. Come on, you don't see computer complaining about fair and equal protection. Asians earned their place in this country. Why can't you? What? No, Uncle Sammy, you helped Asian people. Why can't you see that? And the model minority myth hurts Asian people too. If an Asian American student is struggling in school, many teachers assume that they don't really need extra help. And it's not true that all Asians are crazy rich and successful. <laughs> the poverty rate for Asian Americans is actually higher than the national average. And frankly, it's kind of ridiculous that we lump people from so many different backgrounds together as Asian. Yeah, Asian people are not a monolith. Trait. You and your multi-ethnic adoptive parents keep referring to me as your smart Asian neighbor. Specifically, I am Korean American. And sure, I'm smart, but I also love ultimate Frisbee. Uh, why doesn't anybody talk about that? You know what this is messed up? Computer's a person who contains multitudes and probably has a real name. 